Hey people, welcome to the channel and in this case analyzing a video where we see how valuable body armor is in dangerous situations. This is something that I've explained in Street Survival Skills and here you will see something that I explained here specifically about what kind of body armor you want to have for different reasons and it goes down exactly how I explain it here. Check this out. This is from uh, one of these stores that sell, well, drugs. This is from Campton, California. <laughs> Campton, California. Of course. Four men look around inside a local smoke shop. Local smoke shop. What could possibly go wrong? And there's this big debate about, oh, legalizing drugs removes the business and they cry. No, it's still a fucking drug dealing shop. It's legal, but it's still drugs. I at least think this, at least in my opinion, this shows that no, legalizing this crap does not make things better. This just makes it legal, but still, it's still drugs. It's still something that is horrible for society at large. And this is the kind of thing that is targeted by, yeah, drug dealers because they're criminals. And you having a legal shop does not change the fact that you're dealing with drugs and you're very attractive for these kind of criminals. So, as you see, it has a gate there, you know, on the door. But what kind of people walk into this place? Well, people that look like fucking drug dealers because that's what they actually are or clients of drug dealers. So, even if you see these guys, you still open the door because who else is going to walk into your drug dealing store, all right? So, this is why these things are so dangerous. This is why some of the worst crimes that you see usually involve see these smoke stores or well, or 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 drug or pot or whatever it is that they're dealing with, and that's why they can they have this kind of security. Now, the security guard has a vest, very visible, and he has a gun, very visible as well. Is that always a good idea? It depends. Sometimes it is, sometimes it is not. You be the judge of this. And look around inside a local smoke shop. There's not much time to discuss the merchandise with the man behind the counter. Four guys. A barrage of bullets fly from every direction. The clerk, also a security guard, comes very close to taking a fatal gunshot to the head. He ducks just in time. Wearing a bulletproof vest likely saved this man's life. Still, he is wounded in the neck and face. But the employee continues to defend his ground. So you see what happened here. Because he's wearing a vest that is very visible, the attacker went for the headshot. He aimed directly at his face. Directly at his face. Why? Because he's wearing a very visible body armor vest. So of course he's going to be doing that. He has the drop on you. He's walking in knowing he's going to be attacking you and you can be very suspicious but you know, you're not doing anything until he actually becomes a threat to you. So this is where uh, conceal, this is what I explain here. The concealable body armor vest is a lot more valuable in a situation like this. Why? Because it can be hidden. Look at this big ass sweater that he's wearing. If you had those same soft panels, and I, know, I don't know if he's wearing a, a plates or not. Uh, personally, for this sort of thing, I would have soft plates, concealable ones, because I'm not letting the guy walk in with a rifle. I mean, maybe a big jacket, but it's kind of not unlikely, and if I see something like that, it's less likely to be the case. But whatever it is, you want to have that concealed, especially if you have already a big sweater. Conceal anything you have under it instead of having it visible, because as long as it's not visible, there's a much greater chance that he will naturally go for the center of mass shot. That is naturally what we all tend to do. We all tend to aim center of mass because we correctly assume we have a greater chance of hitting our target. It's not just intuitive. That's the way most people are trained, which is not going for headshots. You aim center of mass. That's what gives you the best chance of success. So if you don't have a vest visible, even if you're wearing a big sweater or whatever it is, you don't visualize a vest. So that's why I recommend having both concealable soft panels and uh, 
larger or more visible vest with plates and you know maybe for attaching magazines uh, a, a more of a, a military kind of a larger is hard uh, plate vest for right uh, with rifle plates as well as the concealable body armor uh, vest have both and if you could only buy one I would start with the concealable soft panel Kevlar vest because it's a lot more likely to be useful in a number of, po of potentially dangerous situations including this one now I would also want to have the rifle plates because if there's you know, so, uh, widespread social unrest, if there's war, if there's anarchy, if there's anything in which you put on the more uh, war gear and you start walking around with a rifle in your magazines, then that's something else and that vest is going to be serving, serving you even better where the soft panels will maybe even completely useless at that point. But here, having that probably could have gotten him killed. He got wounded in the face wounded in the neck i don't know if the vest stopped uh, a round or two there but still he is wounded in the neck and no. face he does something right he goes down very fast i mean he was getting shot at but you know covering this is not providing any sort of ballistic protection but you know the smaller you make yourself the better it is so going still, down like he that is probably wounded in the life. neck and face but the employee continues to defend his ground with one last blast, the suspects beat a hasty retreat, tumbling over one another in an effort to avoid gun shooting. These guys were determined to shoot. An employee clerk. working at the store next door calls police. The smoke shop clerk is treated at a local hospital smoke and shop. released. One of the attackers, 18-year-old Justin Culberson, is also wounded and goes to the hospital, but he dies from his injuries. Police arrest 18-year-old Cameron Nettles the next day. He pleads not guilty to both attempted murder of the clerk and felony murder for the death of his fellow suspect. Right, that's because he's responsible for the murder of, a, of his accomplice, even though the security guard is the one that shot him, the security guard was forced to shoot him because of the crimes that he was committed. So that murder is on him, and it should be that way. If convicted of either charge, he'll be sentenced to between 25 years to life in prison. The other two suspects, 23-year-old Kalel Malik Lundy and 21-year-old Keith Terrion Rachel, are still at law. Oh, it was such a loss for the medical community, these two. Yeah, anyway, these two are at large, the other one didn't make it, and the clerk miraculously survived this attack. Now, that headshot, that could have been, could have gone very wrong. But it also just proves one more thing, which is, it's a lot more difficult to hit such a small target than the bigger one. So you still have a, a better chance of survival even with a visible vest. But that would be my advice, have a vest that is not visible. It will increase the, the chances of that vest catching the shots instead of him going for the much more difficult but much more dangerous headshot. Guys, that's gonna be all for now. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. That's always appreciated and leave your comments there below. I always like to read those and if you have any topics, any videos you'd like me to address in the future, more than welcome. See you next time.